My presence here, I think, is a, a manifestation of the special relationship that exists between the New York City Police Department and the State of Israel. From 2002 on, we have had a New York City police officer stationed in Tel Aviv with the Israeli uh, National Police. And this is one of 11 posts that we have created in cities throughout the world in what we call our International Liaison Program. In the aftermath of September 11th, we believe that it was essential for us to expand our global partnership. And we knew that we had a great deal to learn from Israel. The New York City Police Department was focused internally on the mission to combat conventional crime within the five boroughs of New York. After September 11th, we knew we had to expand our awareness beyond our borders to keep New York safe. With your help, we vastly improved our understanding of the global terrorist threat. The attempted Christmas Day bombing of Northwest Flight 253 over Detroit was another reminder that this threat is very real and ongoing. Securing our citizens from terrorism is a challenge that New York and Israel share. Before the crisis, a typical recruit class would have consisted of anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 new officers. Now, the class that we hired last month was 112, and that was only thanks to a federal grant that we obtained. As a result, we now find ourselves with about 6,000 fewer officers than we had in July of 2001. There is no substitute for having police officers who come from the communities they serve. In every phase of this program, we've recorded major reductions of up to 40% or more in overall crime and specific categories like murder. 